Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Yagnesh Thakkar and I am the director of the company Velisolve Envirotech Private Limited. Our channel name is Velisolve Envirotech. I am very passionate about environment sustainability. I would love to talk about issues related to water and wastewater treatment. Nature has provided us with incredible tools to reclaim water and what's one such uh, solution is biocultures. Today we will deep dive into the topic of biocultures. So what are biocultures? Biocultures in simple layman language are small tiny microorganisms that cannot be seen without a microscope and with an unaided human eye. Now why are this what are these microorganisms utilizing for their growth and development? They are nothing but the carbon and nitrogen sources which are used in their metabolism. One such application of this property of utilizing carbon and nitrogen sources comes from the biodegradation and bioremediation of water and wastewater treatment. So in water and wastewater treatment there are indicators of pollutants which is carbon oxygen demand, COD and BOD, biological oxygen demand. These pollutant indicators are the source of carbon and nitrogen for this biocultures. This biocultures break down the complex carbon sources and nitrogen sources into simpler form and utilize it, utilize them for the growth and reproduction for themselves. What is bioaugmentation in other words? Bioaugmentation in other words is somewhere you add on to what is currently doing. So it accelerates the process. It acts as a catalyst rather than making the process work in the same way. So I'm definitely sure that you are curious about that why biocultures are important at first place. There are multiple reasons to it. Let us go one by one. The first reason is enhanced biological treatment. In enhanced biological treatment, when you introduce biocultures to the system of aeration, aeration tank, what it does is it, it accelerates the degradation of organic contaminants and pollutants present in the wastewater which are degrading naturally. It acts as a catalyst and this bacteria secret enzymes that again in turn make the process accelerate. So our company Velisol Venerotic Private Limited does the same thing. We have isolated more than 300 species from Asia's most polluted sites. These sites have the natural genetic ability to die, to degrade and to decompose the wastewater pollutants present in your effluent. So what we do is, we take your effluent, we understand the chemistry of your chemical composition and tailor make it for your particular effluent. So this goes as in your chemical composition is XYZ. We prepare ABC kind of uh, types of cultures and this go hand in hand and they degrade and they uh, consider your contaminant as the source of carbon and nitrogen and thereby degrade it. The second point the second point is nutrient removal. Usually the effluent has carbon, nitrogen and phosphorus contaminants. This carbon, uh, carbon contaminants are in the form of organic matter and inorganic matter. Now this carbon uh, components are utilized by bacteria for developing their own carbon skeleton. They will also convert this complex carbon into simpler forms of CO2 and H2O. Second comes the nitrogen sources. This nitrogen sources bacteria like Pseudomonas, Nitrococcus, Nitrobacter are responsible for denitrification and nitrification of ammonia into simpler form of nitrogen gas. This nitrogen gas escapes into, into the air, thus helping the environmental impact of nitrogen sources like ammonia in the wastewater discharge into open water bodies. Some bacteria have the capacity to accumulate phosphorus content in them. This uh, phosphorus content gets into the bacterial skeleton and in their body and they store in the form of energy and this bacteria uh, makes the phosphorus unavailable in the wastewater. The third and the most important point is 
reduced consumption of chemicals expensive chemicals like hydrogen peroxide coagulants are used by many companies to treat waste water now um, by harnessing the natural abilities of microorganisms this chemical usages can be reduced to a very substantial extent and the potential of utilizing the natural bio biological systems can be employed for reducing the overall chemical consumption of your plant now comes the fourth point lower consumption of energy most of the plants that employ steam which are used in mwe plants and other processes the conventional ones are now turning to biological treatment because the they have unleashed the power of bacterial cultures now when the consumption of the energy is lowered the cost per kl treatment of effluent drastically drops moreover there are added advantages of producing biogas plants from anaerobic treatment which is an added advantage and the fifth point is shock load resistivity now just imagine that the ambulance that is used in that is used it is used for emergency purposes so likewise bacterial cultures can also be a very good source of bio augmenting your system when your system starts starts to get degraded by let's say whether your batch gets failed or whether the ph drops somehow because of the problems of operation somewhere so that can be easily resolved by uh, funneling bacterial cultures to your systems so they act as a shock load resistive uh, powerful tool that can withstand the shock load of your plant where multiple product plants usually face this shock loads the last and the most important but obvious benefit is environmental benefits biocultures contribute to the overall health and the performance of the nature in again regenerating it in a regenerative manner now so this can be a slogan which recently we discovered is it is so biocultures can can be said that they are by the environment and for the environment so the main uh, point here is they are regenerative in nature and they can reproduce themselves where compared to chemical treatment they have less footprint in nature and are sustainable we strongly urge you to share this video to spread the awareness of biological treatment in wastewater sector and make our environment more sustainable hope you liked this video and you have got the valuable information out of it stay tuned with our channel and keep supporting us by subscribing this channel and hitting that bell icon we would like to see you in the next video thank you